Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survivalist Boards. Guys and gals, this is the top section of a tripod stand. We're going to be finished showing a completed product here in a few minutes. Deer season's getting close. A lot of big box marts, a lot of big China Mart stores are going to be getting these in stock. You may see them and said, okay, well, I mean, what good are they? What can you do with them? Now, these usually sit up, I mean, various heights, 12 feet or so, maybe 10 feet, 14 feet. Some of them will have two people. Some of them have just the chair. I do not recommend just the chair top. If you're going to get a tripod stand, I highly recommend getting one with a frame all the way around it. We'll get to that. Well, you'll see why here in a few minutes. Not only providing a safety feature of hopefully stopping you from falling out of the stand, there's also some things that we can do with this. One of the problems with these stands are, is that they provide very little camouflage and very limited protection from the elements. As you can see, there's no top on it. You're sitting there, you're moving. Deer will be able to see you moving. Mosquitoes buzzing your ear, kind of swat the mosquito. Deer and wildlife are going to be able to see you moving from a mile away. Unless you're like a bow hunter, very, very, very still. But there's some things that we can do to resolve that thing, to resolve that issue. One is we're going to take and put some pressure-treated 1x4s across the bottom, attach them to the frame using self-tapping screws, probably about an inch and a quarter or so. We're going to put that on three sides. The fourth side you're going to leave open because that's where you go up into the stand at. Then we're going to take and put some 1x4s right here, going across here. You can screw them to that. Same thing as the base. Then put you some pipe insulation with zip ties on it. That's not what this was for. And from there, you can either attach some type of metal siding, pressure treated plywood, a tarp, whatever. You've got something to attach that tarp or, ply or plywood or metal to using those pressure treated 1x4s. Then we're going to take some pressure treated 2x2s, two or 1x1, one one, yeah, 2x2s, two yeah. You're going to come up through here, and zip tie them to that, cable tie them. Once they get up here, we'll build a little frame, and you'll be able to put a piece of plywood, piece of tin, tarp, just something to help keep the rain off of you. Alrighty, guys and gals, that is the finished product. We've got the pressure treated 1x4s going around the bottom. And to help hold that tarp on, to help hold it on, I had some of these little, like, one by twos that I bought at Lowe's. They, Lowe's had got a bad batch of them, a discounted them, deep discount, like 25 cents a piece. So I bought, like, I don't know, $10 worth or something. I bought a whole bunch of them. So we took those, put them around the bottom. Same, you see the pop insulation up there at the top for you to put your rifle on. Piece of plywood at the top. Tarp. And the tarp is wrapped around and stapled to the pressure treated one by fours that are screwed to the frame all right so let's go over here to the to the feeder and take a look at it from from the feeder and that's what the deer sees right there i mean you're concealed you got protection from the weather see here's the acorns acorns are already starting to fall there it is right there so the deer right now have plenty of food they're not even eating enough of the corn to keep it off the ground let's see if we can zoom in on that stand you'll see what i'm talking about see now you're protected from the weather just a little bit of work some one by fours some uh one by ones one by twos tarp burlap and you got yourself a nice portable deer stand the frame is just kind of like a prefab all you do is just take that frame and build off of it now let's go take a look at the get up inside the stand and take a look at it and here's what it looks like from the deer stand. You've got your pipe tubing, pipe insulation tubing here for you to set your rifle on. Got your deer feeder down there. This spot right here in the front is going to be for a while, uh, food plot. And my son and I put all this together. Here's the uprights, one by one uprights. Going up to a plywood roof. Two by fours, pressure treated two by fours, pressure treated two by four. The tarp rolls over and it's stapled here goes around pressure treated one by four pressure treated one by four so y'all get the idea i mean it's not that difficult guys it's not that difficult i think these one by ones are about six feet tall uh, you could probably shrink that down a little bit during the off season wasp and stuff will get up in here and build a nest but that's what it is, guys. There you go. That's my, taking a store-bought tripod deer stand and modifying it 
so you're out of weather a little bit. Deer won't be able to see you. You'll be able to come in here and make, make your movements, get your rifle ready, everything, even a pair of binoculars or whatever. Deer walking through here, stop. You're able to look at it, estimate the age, see if you want to harvest it. It sure beats taking an offhand shot as the deer is walking by in a split second. Okay, guys and gals, that's it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I will talk to y'all later.